everyone, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by T-Set. I am here with Chef Val from OUT School of Community Medicine. Always a pleasure to have you. Yeah. And then we have Julie from T-Set today. Thank you for joining us. Yes. So I know I usually just let Chef Val lead the way, so what are we making today? We are doing a lemon chia muffin, so it's a little bit of a take on a lemon poppy seed muffin, just a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. So instead of just... Um, white flour, like mm -hmm. white all-purpose flour, or using part whole wheat flour. And then instead of the poppy seeds, we're using chia seeds, which are high in healthy fats, a little bit of protein, a lot of fiber. Okay, right. so again, it's those little steps. Yes. And that's basically the goal, correct? Yes. Any way that you can, you know, kind of pump up your normal recipe with some healthier items, you're going to be doing good. And that's in line with our goal. T-Set funds shape your future. We have resources, recipes, ways to get active and you know, just everyday ways that you can do some healthy subs. Right. It's, and like we've said before many times, it's just those small little steps that can make those bigger changes yes. or just get you in that habit of the routine of just making better life choices. Yes. And making a muffin at home is going to seem like healthier than buying a Yeah, that was, my, that was my thought too. Well, for one thing, the portion size of this <laughs> muffin much, is going to be, yeah, it's not ball. like a softball, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what are you doing now or what okay. have you added in? So we have some egg, lemon juice, um, oil. I think we're using canola oil. You could use an avocado oil. Okay. Um, and so all of the wet ingredients are going to the dry ingredients. And so along with this, did I say egg? So we have some egg. Yep. And then we also have some leavener, um, chemical leavener, like some baking soda and baking powder, okay. which are in the dry ingredients. So these just get um, all mixed together. And just because I'm purely curious, is there a reason why you do the dry and the wet and that, then you mix? That is just the method for okay. any kind of quick bread. Okay. Yep. So once this is incorporated, but not fully, fully incorporated, you don't want to over mix a quick bread because that is what makes it tough. So you can still see a little bit of the dry ingredient okay. in there when, um, when it's ready to scoop out. So you don't want it fully mixed. It's normal to not be totally mixed up. Yeah, so basically. you can see that there's a little right. bit of flour showing there. Okay. Okay, so these just get scooped out and then baked in the oven for about 20 minutes, like many, many quick bread, quick bread muffins anyway. Right. And then they're ready to eat. And so these store well in the refrigerator or freezer for a few days at least in the fridge. And you get this beautiful product. Yes. I was like, I was, you know, I was ready to display here. Ready to display. <laughs> and they are in a much more reasonable portion size. So mm -hmm. I think this part we get to taste. Taste it. So we will have add it here. These are great for breakfast too. If you pop them in the microwave. Right. Or sure. just a little snack that you can grab. Mm -hmm. You can taste the lemon, they're very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, they should be very lemony. So mm -hmm. um, we swapped out lemon juice for milk or water that you might put in there and then the um, zest of two full lemons. So it's a lot, it's very no, lemony. It's very tasty. I love it, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm. If you guys wanna learn about this recipe or any of the other tips and recipes, go ahead and head to kjrh.com.